So when it's a party without a fantastic cheese board, here to show us how to put together a simple but impressive board for grazing, I love to graze, is Audra Lawler from Orcas Island's Girl Meets Dirt. Girl Meets Dirt, what does this mean? Well, Girl Meets Dirt is the name of our fruit preserves company. Mm -hmm. um, we're based out on Orcas Island on the San Juan Islands, yeah. um, about 100 miles north of here in a ferry ride. Um, we make fruit preserves from heritage island fruit, uh, a lot of it coming from trees that have been producing on the island for over 100 years. That is awesome. I'm so glad to know about you and what you do, and we can find you online. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having us. You can find us online. Um, you can also actually find us um, above the cheese counter at Safeway and in their liquor set, Whole Foods, uh, QFC, Metropolitan Market, and um, uh, Made in Washington. There you go. <laughs> Love it. All right, I'm going to have a quick cashew while yeah, you explain think. what's going on with the cheese board. Sure. So I think a lot of people think that yeah. making, get intimidated by the idea of making a cheese board and it really doesn't have to be complicated. Um, you know, a lot of people will hold back from the idea because they feel like they don't have the equipment or they don't have the tools, they don't have or something. Or I don't know how to make it look pretty like yeah, I've seen on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, but I think it's actually, it's it's really um, a, a few couple of tips uh, to help you get started and then okay. go with your gut and with what you like. All right. um, the first thing is, is if you don't have a board, don't sweat it. Um, Anything can look pretty covered in a nice piece of parchment paper. <laughs> so this is just a little tin tray that we have. Everybody right. has a baking tray at home. Um, grab a nice sheet of this brown craft parchment paper, put it on. And you're done. Yep, don't need a cheese board. And then um, I would start by you placing your large items first. Um, this so you've is, cut this cheese This is uh, Beecher's uh, sheep's milk cheese. Okay. Mm -hmm which is really lovely. It's called Sheep Sheep. So why are we doing the big things first? Um, so, that, Help me understand. Uh, so that you have room, so that you then, because all the other little things, if you start, say, putting the almonds, you're going you're to be gonna moving everything it. around. You're you want to fill you in. Wanna, yes, you want to place the big items and then fill in the gaps okay. with the Got smaller it. items. So usually the bigger items are our cheese. This is a Mount Townsend Creamery Sea Stock, which Just is named uh, after the Washington coast. Ooh, Mount Townsend yum. is a great creamery. Um, so just Port quickly it, tell me, like you, these three cheeses, what are we looking for? We've got a hard cheese, we've got a blue, we've got a soft. Is that yeah, sort so the of, second we're tip doing is, a variety? is to have some variety. And your variety, um, I like it in two ways. Mix the milks of your cheese. Mm -hmm. So this is the sheep's milk, um, and these two are cow's milk. At least represent two mil milks. Right. Um, an easy way to do that, anybody, you can you can find a, a goat cheese, um, local or imported, so much. in any grocery store. So you can always just throw in a goat cheese and then put in your favorite cheddar or gouda. Okay. Um, the second tip would be uh, uh, on achieving that variety is to um, mix the textures of the cheese. Mm -hmm. So some hard, um, some soft and gooey. Uh, the sea stock is a nice soft um, like camembert cell cheese. The blue <laughs> cheese is nice and soft and crumbly. And then uh, this sheep sheep uh, from Beecher's is going to be pretty hard. Okay, great. Um, I also tend to cut up one of the cheeses uh, just for easy grazing. These ones are easy to grab with a small knife. Mm -hmm. If you leave the hard cheese for guests to cut, they may avoid it because it's too awkward yeah, for them to cut Yeah, we're worried we're going to shoot knife. it across the room. Yep. So just go ahead and slice so it. So we got place it. our big items, which also includes Yum. our jams. Um, we're including two of our preserves. This is our pear balsamic. Mm -hmm. It's um, uh, made with heritage Bartlett pears from a 100-year-old Orcas orchard. Um, we pair it with a reduction of 50% balsamic organic vinegar. It's really nice. It's sweet, a little tart, um, almost a little raisiny. It goes with any cheese. Beautiful with the blue. Um, this is our ruby red apple cutting preserves. Cutting preserves are a highly concentrated fruit puree or a paste. So mm -hmm. these are going to be smooth, thick, and dense. So we just Almost open that cuttable. up and put a little yeah. doodad in you there. You can leave so it right on it. there or you can take a bit out and serve it right on the board. The nice okay. thing about these is they're tailor made for cheese. A little goes a long way. Got it. So then we start. Um, can I try the preserves while yeah, you keep please. going? Yeah, please. I feel like my part here is to eat. Right, the you've garnish got some crackies. is nice and you don't have to get fancy with your garnish. Um, I usually advise people to just go out go out in their garden or their yard. Um, usually uh, there's bay laurel trees around, any mm -hmm. type of herbs you have in pots will do, um, just to make that board that much prettier. I love that idea that you've already got this stuff. You probably have a rosemary bush or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got some beautiful crackers. Now with crackers also, don't feel like you need to put out all the crackers you're going to need for the entire evening. Just put out something to get you started. You can either replenish on the tray or have a bowl set aside. Okay. Just so the crackers don't have to be um, the showpiece. These, however, are really delicious crackers. These are from La Panzanella and Raincoast Crisp, um, local companies. Those are two of my favorites. Yeah. All right, now the meats. Uh, so the meats, I have a little mix of local and imported. Um, this is a prosciutto di Parma from Italy, which is um, a crowd favorite. I like to roll these up. They come in th mm -hmm. uh, long uh, shaved uh, slices, and I roll them up and kind of make them into little rosettes. And I'll oh, just that's cute. push them down, just so that you can fit more in there. Right. And then that's easy for people to grab. And then they can just grab it with their fingers. 
I don't get too caught nice. up on utensils yeah. because this should be finger food to it me. It should be, I think so. And, the, and if we can do it without, you know, kind of touching everything yeah. like that, we can just grab yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you just, you grab a cracker, you grab your piece of meat, you throw a little preserves on right. top of it, grab a piece of cheese. This is so good, go. that cheese and the, the jam with the balsamic. That is the bomb. That is so yeah, good. Yeah, that one's very versatile. It really plays well with any any cheese. Okay, and then we have some of Olympia Provisions, a Portland company, some of their um, NOLA salamis. Mm -hmm. And we'll kind of tuck those around. Um, I like to cut them in nice slices. If you have pre-cut, that's fine as well. Um, save yourself a step. This is some pre-cut um, salami. Got it. And these will just tuck around there. And we only have I would about place 90 them in seconds. So, I, and I'm okay. sorry, so yeah. sorry to interrupt you, but I want to see you do this, and then let's do one. Let's do the mocktail. Okay. What are those things? Those are, are prunes. Guys? Italian prunes? plum prunes. Okay. Yep. Oh, look we'll at finish that. that up. If you don't have a container for your olives, just stick it in an old jam thing. jar. Yeah. Yep, works great. Let's talk about the nuts real quick. And then we'll okay, and then the nuts, we've got some um, Marcona almonds. Uh, these are imported, things. but they're really delicious. Yes, The they nuts are. Are, a fine, are, are wonderful just to finish things off with. I love that idea. Because you can fit them into all the empty spaces. And that's how it's beautiful. So yep. if you're nervous about what to do, just get those and sprinkle them over the top, and you're good to go. Yeah, Okay, let's easy. talk about the mocktail. Okay, so the mocktail is a lemon lavender spritzer. Um, we start with our guys? shrubs. Shrubs are sweet and sour syrups. Um, these guys are concentrated. You use just a little bit. What I love about shrubs is they're great for making cocktails and mocktails with barely anything else on hand. You just need these, some sparkling water, and some booze if you want to make it That's a cocktail. That's awesome. So this we're going to do about an ounce and a half of our lemon lavender shrub. Oh, lemon lavender. We're going to pour it in our shaker. So good. Get some. I'm going to use my hands just you to feel be free. fast about that. <laughs> But use Everybody the spoon does if you're. At home. Let's just, <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're not going to pretend we know. Just give it a good shake. So it's nice and cold. Right. Strain it into a nice flute glass. So this essentially is just the shrub that's chilled. This one we make with fresh lavender and a lemon syrup. I've never even heard of a shrub before. You and then top it off with any sparkling water so that you have on hand. Okay. And then a garnish. You've done it's a always garnish nice. over here. This is a little rosemary garnish that because it was um, blossoming, but lavender would work well as well. We will share that recipe and also the, what is the cocktail? So this is a ruby spiced apple old fashioned and that is oh essentially our ruby spiced apple shrub with bourbon and some of our old dame's bitters um, stirred, oh strained, nice. over ice with a star anise and cinnamon garnish. Pretty cool. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very this welcome. Was delicious <laughs> and fun. Since we're all in a festive mood now, we can't help but note how people love